Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Nancy and this is Oat Mall. Finally got my camera back. My mom shipped it to me. Bless her. This week, believe it or not, we are going to be trying to attempt the Mary's Mini. Now, if you're not familiar with the Mary's Mini, I'm going to link it in the description bar. But essentially, it is a week, 10 days, however long you would like to continue on this challenge, if you will, eating only one particular starch veggies and a little bit of fruit at least that is from my research that I have gathered I'm gonna be doing this <laughs> I never thought I was gonna do this because oatmeal is life and I wanted to do it with potatoes because I can't eat oatmeal all day I mean I can um, I did it one time in one video for just like one whole day of eating only oatmeal and I was like really full and honestly like it, I thought it was more challenging than I was gonna give it credit for. So I'm gonna be doing this with potatoes and I think on Mary's mini like on the website it says like potatoes or sweet potatoes. I'm gonna combo it. I'm gonna be just doing this for seven days. The reason being I have been traveling like crazy this last month. I was in Napa. I was in Sequoia. I was in Dallas just recently. So I just need to kind of get back on track, reset my taste buds, kind of like putting myself back on track, all of that jazz. And yeah, I just kind of want to do it before the holidays because it's kind of like a perfect time to do it. And I'm just going to do it one week and see how it goes. So essentially, I'm going to film for the entire week for the sake of, you know, documenting. I weighed myself this morning and I'm going to see how my body reacts through the end of the week. Gain weight, lose weight, stay the same. Bada bing, bada boom. We shall see. So this morning, I'm going to be having a sweet potato with some berries. So for the week, I'm going to be eating potatoes, vegetables, and a little bit of fruit for a week. Yeah, so it should be good. I'm going to keep up my running schedule, my workout schedule. Everything's going to stay the same. I'm just eating slightly different this week. And yeah, and I want to bring you guys along with me, give you my updates, thoughts, and um, that's what we're doing. So welcome back to my channel. So sorry I look all red in the face. I just got back from a run. Can't wait to bring you guys along and I'll show you my breakfast on day one of Mary's Mini. This combo, I've never eaten this for my breakfast before. Looks like a big cakey dessert. Mmm. All right, I'm not gonna lie. That combo tastes like cake. That is so good. Highly, highly recommend. I am just getting my lunch started. I'm gonna have one zucchini and then a bunch of asparagus and mushrooms and I'm just gonna cook them in the air fryer with some nutritional yeast and a little bit of salt. Obviously have my potato with it. I'm gonna get these going and um, I'll show you my bowl once it's complete. <laughs> from today so what I didn't show you is I ate some baby carrots in the middle of the day before I started like cooking dinner and then when I was cooking dinner I was eating out of the pot some of the soup and the soup was so good it was a potato soup and essentially it was just some onion carrots celery three large russet potatoes 
half a cauliflower that I steamed in the microwave and then I blended it up um, to give it like a creamy texture to it and I needed a little bit more creaminess and I know this probably isn't allowed in the Mary's Mini but we're kind of just like mixing it up and I added about a cup of soy milk to that massive pot of soup. So delicious. I also added a little, a little, little bit of salt as well just to give it some flavor so good yeah so while i was full after like all of my meals and i think it's just because of all the fiber that all of the food that i was eating had my one comment would be like i don't i'm satisfied in the sense of like fullness but not in like i need like some fruit or something like that and i know it's just day one and i'm such a weenie but i'm such like a fruit person like i'm so such a sweets person so maybe this is like a perfect challenge for me to kind of mellow out my taste buds which I think is the purpose of it yeah I, I definitely couldn't see myself doing this longer than a week like a week is like a real real stretch for me like I miss beans I miss like seeds nuts avocado like I miss those things and fruit so definitely would not consider this a everyday diet for sure but yeah so anyway that's day one feeling a little bit like me miss my fruit i'm hoping that that changes like throughout the week but yeah day one complete i'll follow up with day two give you some updates but until then Good night. Hello, hello. We're on day two of Mary's Mini slash the potato reset. And I think it's going fine. <laughs> Honestly, it's okay. Like I am a little bit bored, which is the purpose of it. Cause it's a reset. It is so you can desensitize your taste buds. But honestly, I just love creating whole food plant-based recipes. And I love variety of starches and variety of fruits. So like honestly this for me, it is a challenge. And I think there's a reason why I put off doing this challenge for so long. Because you know, I love the variety of a whole food plant based diet. Like just narrowing it down to one starch and vegetables and then like a little bit of fruit. It's a challenge. I don't know how people can do it for like weeks or month or year or a year. Like honestly, more props to you. Like I, I really don't know if I could have done it. Here we are. We're on day two and I'm complaining like a weenie and it's only day two. What I've had today so far is the same breakfast as of what I yesterday. I also sprinkled on some cinnamon on top this morning and it was very nice. So that's what I have for breakfast. And then for mid-morning snack, I had some baby carrots. And then I was like, eh, I'm just going to eat a meal at this point because it was almost noon. I reheated my cabbage from last night, the cabbage and saute mix. And I had that and then I had my soup from yesterday as well. And it was very good. I had an apple just now and it's almost 2 o'clock. But... That has been my day so far. Tonight, I'm gonna do mashed potato fries. I saw Flourishing Miranda do this. Whip up some mashed potatoes, probably within the next like couple of minutes. Put them in the refrigerator and then hopefully they'll be set uh, in time for me to like cut them in slices and make them into fry shapes. Regardless, I'm gonna make some mashed potatoes but I have to get to work. People are like pinging me on Slack right now so I gotta go do my job. Um, but I wanted to give a little midday to update. And yeah, so I'm gonna put on the potatoes here in a second and then I'll reconvene at dinner. Okay, so I just made the mashed potatoes and I just did mashed potatoes and then to make them like a little creamy, I put like half a cup of soy milk in there. It's not too much. I know I'm not like Mary's mini specific, but close enough. So I'm gonna add the mashed potatoes into here and make them really cold so they like hold together in the refrigerator. So when you take it out, cut them into slices. But it's already almost four and if I eat dinner at like seven, I don't know if they'll be cold enough. So I might put them in the freezer for like an hour to cool down and hopefully I can make fries out of them. If not, they'll still be good, but we'll see how that goes. I'm just gonna put my mashed potatoes into this container and then slice them when they're all ready. Okay, 
So I'm gonna try to like get them out by like banging them on here and then slice them. All right, I got my mashed potato fries. <laughs> I think this is gonna work, so I'm gonna put them in the air fryer at 375 and see how it goes. Okay, I just took the mashed potato fries out of the air fryer and my goodness, if I could get to focus. That is a work of art. These look and smell so good. I'm gonna give it a taste. That is so good. It tastes like a tater tot in my opinion and i made up my plate because i took a photo <laughs> how pretty so i'm going to actually eat my potato fries in the lettuce wrap so i'm going to enjoy this as my dinner it looks so good highly recommend these highly 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 i'm very excited about this I have come to the end of day two of my potato reset slash Mary's mini slash Nancy's mini because I've added in a bit more fruit probably than what is normally recommended purely because I'm trying to change my taste buds I enjoy fruit it's more of like the the sugar and a lot of the high processed foods so I'm gonna keep some fruit I'm, I'm definitely taking a lot of fruit out of my diet like the quantity wise but keeping some in as you would have seen after i had my dinner which i ate a little bit more than what i showed on camera i then had a sweet treat with um, one fuji apple and a couple of raspberries with some cinnamon and then that was my dessert uh, for this evening and i'm feeling good definitely feeling very like full because it's a lot of fiber so that is one thing that i'm noticing is like i'm I'm full. My belly, I can feel it. I can feel the food. After day two, day two is actually much easier than day one. Yay. So I'm hoping by day seven, it'll be like easy breezy, beautiful cover girl situation. Day one was a struggle. I am missing my oatmeal. Eating potatoes for breakfast is very bizarre, but day two, feeling good, feeling ready for day three and then ready for it to be over because honestly i mean it is getting easier but at the same time i like variety and i will see you guys for part two bye